So about a year ago, put T in lowering springs on a 2012 Nissan Altima sedan. About to take them off. Put on some full coilovers so we can get it a little bit lower. All right, so first thing you gotta do is get the old lowering spring out of the way. What we've done is jack the car up, put it on jack stands. Come over here, remove this 18 millimeter bolt, holding that in. Put a jack under it, put some pressure on it so the bolt will come out and then let it down slowly. Once you get it down, just push it out of the way. Pull that old lowering spring out of there. Take this out of here too because won't need it anymore. The coilovers are going to go from here and run all the way up there. So you won't need a spring in there anymore. Coilovers have springs on them already. Alright, so took off two half inch bolts up there. Pulled the entire shock out. Mounted here with an 18 mil bolt. That came right out. So we got the lowering spring out. We got both of the bump stops out. Got the shock out. Had to keep everything supported from underneath with the jack. Almost taking everything out, just took all the pressure off of everything, so it made it easier to come out. Now we'll put in the coilover. All right, coilover's in. There, two half inch bolts, 18 millimeter bolt there. All you do is check your preload on your coilover. What happens is you don't want this shock to move around. So you have to tighten these up. Tighten up, loosen the bottom one, tighten the top one up until it's nice and snug. Do it about another third of a turn and tighten the bottom one up to it. Be sure that this is nice and snug. If you tighten it too much, you're gonna have a really bumpy ass ride. So don't tighten it too much, but be sure it's not loose. You don't want it to move around or slide or anything like that. And then when you're doing your ride, your height adjustments, you're gonna measure from the bottom of here to here. You want to make that the same on the other side. Once you have that ride adjustment, height adjustment, you're going to tighten this collar down to here, nice and snug, and take a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver right there and hit it with a hammer a couple times, turn it just a little bit more so that it does not move. That's one side installed. Okay, now we're going to do the front uh, coilover. As you can see, it has studs. What you will take out of your strut, out of an Altima, are these. They don't give you the bolts for these. So, do yourself a favor. Go to the store. Buy those. M8 1.25 flange nut bolts. Buy those washers to go under them. You can also buy these rubber washers. Put them on here. Or you put it up under the car to give you a little cushion instead of metal on metal. So what we're going to do is take the old strut out. It has a lowering coil on it already. We're going to remove all of that. We're going to hang the brake line in a new spot and the vacuum lines. These are half inch. Here, you have to take those three out. This is 21 mil, 21 mil. That's 18 millimeter. All right, we've now loosened these two 21 mil bolts. Loosen this 18 mil. And we are supporting the entire thing with the jack. This will make it easier to take out these bolts up top. And they've already been loosened. So we can remove those so the whole strut will come out. For your brake line, you can take a flathead screwdriver and just pry against each side of this. That clip will come right out. Push it back, it comes right out. Hang on to this clip though because we're going to use it later. Okay, the old strut is out. 
and see where the new one's gonna go. Still got it supported from underneath, but it's gonna kind of flop around a little bit. All right, ready to put the coil over in. Put the rubber washers up here. Just package the grease that comes with them. I'll make sure you put that grease around here. Keep you from having any annoying popping sounds when you turn your tires. We got our bolts, nuts, and washers in top of the strut tower. Snug them down, but don't tighten them up yet. This is what they give you for your brake line. What we're going to do is pop that out, put the brake line through there. Use this clip to secure it. This hole right here is going to go where that bolt is. That's going to hold it in place. Okay, for the brake line, while it was still straight, put the brake line in there where that little sleeve is. Push this back onto it, hit it with a hammer a couple times to get it to snug up, and then kind of bend it into this shape right here. So it'll sit right there just like that and hold your brake line. All right, coil over then. Brake line's hung. I had to zip tie the vacuum line because there's no real mounts for the vacuum line on these. Up top, we're all bolted in. All these bolts are tight. Went ahead and tightened them up. After all these got tightened up, tighten these, tighten these. Make sure they're nice and snug. Tighten that down. A little set screw there, make sure you tighten that down as well. Brake lines hung. All that's left to do now is put the tire on, see how low she is. Measuring two and a half inches from the bottom of the collar to the top of that sleeve. 